All right, so this is going to be a little look into my new wired USB PC controller. I purchased this specific model on Amazon for $26.99 from a vendor called BE1. There are a few other controllers on Amazon that look almost identical with the same pricing, but the reviews on this one were all four to five stars, so I decided to just bite the bullet and why not buy a new controller? There are a few different color options, but I decided to go with the blue one. And the main thing that attracted me to this control in the first place, yep, the LED lighting. Not really, it just, it looked like a solid controller. It does look like an Xbox and a Switch Pro controller mashed together like a hybrid. It does have a turbo button. It does have vibration. Hold on, hold on. Dual vibrators. So it pretty much has all, you know, the whole nine yards. So it looked like a pretty, you know, solid controller. Now the overall build quality on this controller is fairly decent, it's um, lightweight but it feels solid, it doesn't feel like it's going to break if you drop it, it feels like a third party controller. And all the buttons and the joystick, they feel pretty fine, they don't feel cheap at all except the D-pad that did kind of feel a little bit on the cheaper side to me but the L and R buttons, they felt totally fine, nothing wrong with them there. And the controller does come with a six and a half foot cable, which is nice, but if you're looking to sit back on TV and play some console games, you're not going to be able to do it on a 360 Xbox One, Mac, iOS, and PlayStation 4, because those apparently are not compatible. And I did mention that this controller does have a turbo button, which is really easy to set up. All you have to do is press the button you want to turn turbo on, and then hit the turbo button, and you're good to go. The rings will turn red to signify that turbo is activated, and will start blinking once you hold the button. And as well, you could adjust the lighting on the controller if you do want to go blind. But that's only part of it. What really matters is how the controller actually works in game. Time splitters. Yes, the only game to truly test out a controller's strength to make sure it's up to par. And I could say, yeah, it's, it's up to par. Everything feels pretty fluent, pretty good. I honestly have no complaints spending this $26.99 plus tax. And the controller is comfortable, at least in my hands. I do have smaller hands, but it feels almost like an Xbox controller would. Now mind you, I haven't played Time Splitters on a controller for a very long time, so please ignore whatever you're seeing on the screen. It was just me testing out how well the controller works. Not my aim, it because it doesn't work. But I did go ahead and test the turbo on it, and yeah, no, it works just as you'd expect it. As you can see here, I turn it on, and that thing just starts blasting away. So overall, in conclusion, based off my very brief time having this controller in my possession, I do think that I probably got my money's worth. Things may change in the future, They may something might go wrong, something might break. I have not tested the vibration feature out yet, the dual vibrators, mind you, but... Other than that, I, I do like this control. It feels solid, it doesn't feel cheap. I feel like I got my money's worth, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys want, enjoy me playing horribly for the next few seconds. Take it easy.